Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I am going to do your December the 3rd, just for today, in a meditation. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Now, let's go ahead and get into that screen. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. I am. I'm excited to finally be in a position where the technology is working for me this morning. So I've delayed, but I may be late, but I'm here. Okay, let's look at this meditation. It is entitled Vision Without Limits. Perhaps for the first time, we see a vision of our new life. That comes from the basic text, page 35. In our addiction, our vision of ourselves was very limited. Each day we went through the same routine, getting, using, and finding ways and means to get more. And that's all we could reasonably expect for the duration of our lives. Our potential was limited. Today, our, our prospects are changed. Recovery has given us a new vision of ourselves and our lives. We are no longer trapped in the endless gray routine of addiction. We are free to stretch ourselves in new ways, trying out new ideals and new activity. In doing so, we come to see ourselves in a new way. Our potential is limited only by the strength of the higher power that cares for us. And that strength has no limits. In recovery, life and everything in it appears open to us, guided by our spiritual principles, driven by the power given us by the God of our understanding. Our horizons are limitless. Just for today, I will open my eyes to the possibilities before me. My potential is as limitless and as powerful as the God of my understanding. Today, I will act on that potential. Beautiful meditation. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. This is a beautiful meditation because it's true. After we get clean for a certain amount of time, our brain starts to go back to more healthy forms of thinking. We start to envision ourselves doing more. We start to see, even in doing service, that we are capable of fulfilling a commitment on a regular basis without having to be paid to do it. We start to see the spiritual principle of goodwill wake up in us. Uh, some of us begin to see that what we've settled for financially, whatever position we've held at whatever job that we held, if we have a job at this point, have decided that's not, that's not really who I am. Let me go back to college. Let me go to school and get an education. Let me go get some training. Let me go to a vocational skills training school. We decide that maybe we want to be a master mechanic or we want to be a chef or we want to be an entrepreneur and own a 501c3 and be the president of some cause that touches our heart. We begin to see that our horizons are limitless. It's not because of our own power, but because we have a higher power. And because of that higher power, having strength that has no limits, I should hope, I don't know about yours, but I know for mine, that the sky is the limit, even beyond. 
Because when I am doing the 11th step through prayer and meditation, I'm maintaining a conscious contact with my higher power and asking for knowledge of his will and the strength or power to carry it out. So I understand that this relationship, right? This relationship that I have with a higher power is deeply personal. And because it's deeply intimate and personal and uh, it's spiritual in nature, then my faith in my capability or possibilities has no limit. This is where you want to be, folks. This is where you want to be. You want to have an intimate relationship with your higher power so that in the 11th step through prayer and meditation, you're able to understand what it is you're supposed to be doing. You're able to understand your higher power's will for you. And you're given the strength from an unlimited source to be able to reach, to do, to act on that will that is for you just for today. I don't know about anybody else. I don't, I don't want to be anywhere other than in a deep, intimate relationship with my higher power. The way that I pr pray, the way that I meditate is not like most people. So don't, don't, don't stretch for what I do. Stretch for what's good for you. I find solace in, I find peace in my relationship with the God of my understanding. And I understand through that intimacy, through prayer and meditation, and sometimes my prayer does not look like, oh, I'm bowed down and my hands are clasped. My prayer does not look like that. Let me reassure you that my, my former prayer is very non-traditional. My former prayer is almost just like the way that I'm talking right now on this podcast. I have a, a relationship with the God of my understanding that is deeply personal. And if you were to witness, if you were a fly on the wall, you would see that I write sometimes, I speak sometimes, I sit sometimes, I read sometimes. These are forms of prayer for me, forms of pouring out what's in me into the God of my understanding and asking what are we going to do? Not what am I going to do, but what are we going to do? Give me the intuition. Give me the understanding. When I'm in a situation or about to be in one, what is the proper thing to do that is pleasing and that will bring not only you pleasure, but bring me peace? And if it be difficult, Give me the strength and the power to carry it out because I don't have to drop the ball today. I'm not fumbling today. I have a very clear mind today. And that's why when I'm involved with individuals and I'm having conversations with individuals, they walk away saying she is so peaceful and calming. To just the way that she talks. Now, baby, don't get it confused. That may not be what's on the inside, but because of my relationship with the God of my understanding, I'm able to exude that love out from inside to you, to whomever I'm interacting with. You're not going to leave my presence worse. You're going to leave my presence having felt like you have heard something that touches your soul, your spirit, that is going to allow you to apply it. It's practical. So it's spiritual. That's what the basic text tells us. And then you are able to feel peaceful and move forward and, and take the suggestion and say, oh my goodness, that was a beautiful interaction. 
And unbeknownst to you, I may have been fearful. I may have been worried, but because I have a God of my own understanding, that's not what comes across. I, I personally don't come across my physicality. What I'm thinking and feeling does not come across my intimacy with the God of my understanding. That's what comes across. And because of that, I'm able to do the thing that touches other people in the spirit of the 12th step, carrying the message to the individual that is still suffering from whatever addiction. When my hope and my faith arises in my higher power, the, the sky is the limit, but the sky may not always be for me. But you'll never know that unless you have an 11 step in your life. And that's what this is about. Vision without limits. There's no limitation here. If you're not attaining and doing the things that you feel like you're supposed to be doing, it's probably because the circumstances you're in don't allow you to break free from the boundaries. But the more that you pour yourself into recovery and interact with individuals and you hear their stories, how they came from skid row to doctor, you begin to develop faith. Listen, my name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. And today, this is a meditation I want for you to keep very close. This is a five-star meditation that you need to mark with that five and a star. And then you need to bend the corner of that page if you have a book. And you need to come back to it when you're not feeling like you can move forward, you can reach your goal. This is a meditation I plan to print and put somewhere. Just like I have the serenity prayer around me, I'm going to print this and put this on my wall because I need to see it and remember that in the 11th step, I have such an intimacy with God, the God of my understanding. And whatever is revealed to me to do, I've already been given the strength and the power to do it. There's nothing holding mighty stream back. The flow of this mighty stream is powerful, is beautiful, is love, is peaceful, is kind, is within self-control, is long-suffering. Yeah. And I want for that. I want that for you today. That I want for you today, for no, uh, December the 3rd, excuse me, to be the most beautiful December 3rd that you have ever experienced. You need to wake up, wake up, wake up and get, let's get going. We will never, excuse me, we will never have December 3rd, 2022 again. Let's go for it. It's yours for the taking. Have a beautiful day on purpose. And I will be talking to you soon.